What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. Also hit that post notification bell for me so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Be careful down in the comment section of the videos. A lot of spam, a lot of scammers. I will never ask you to contact me by WhatsApp or Telegram. I also do not invest money for my subscribers, so please be careful. Don't get yourself scammed. If you want up to 12 free stocks, Weeble is going to give you up to 12 free stocks. When you open a new Weeble brokerage account, put any amount of money in that brokerage account. They're going to give you up to 12 free stocks that will be worth up to $30,600. There's a link down in the description box of the video. Go click on that Weeble link. Open up your new brokerage account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. There is no better time than right now to build wealth and get to your financial freedom. Building wealth is about lifestyle, right? It's about your ability to determine what type of lifestyle you want at some point in the future. Now that future couldn't be one year or it can be 30 years. That's up to you. You have to decide what financial freedom means to you and when you want it. When I was 30 years old, I decided what financial freedom meant to me. I also decided when I wanted it. I decided by the age of 50, I wanted to be in a position where I controlled 100% of my time and I controlled 100% of my financial destiny. So I started that financial freedom journey. Guys, I knew nothing about the stock market. I knew nothing about real estate. I knew nothing about starting a business when I was 30 years old. But you know what? I did understand if I wanted to get the financial freedom, I was going to have to change my mindset. See, a lot of us live in the land of excuses. When we really should be living in the land of I can do whatever I put my mind to. If you're living in that land of excuses, you need to move to the land of I can do whatever I want to do. And that's the mindset that I had. Although I lacked the knowledge, my mindset was already living in the land of, I can do whatever I put my mind to. So I started with the stock market, taking a little bit of money, $150 guys. That's what I started with at 30 years old. I would take $150 every two weeks and I would put it into the stock market. I would be putting that $150 in the top 500 companies in America. Now, did I know those 500 companies? No, I didn't know who the 500 companies in the top 500 companies in America. And I still don't know today. What I do know though, historically, the S&P 500 over the last 90 years has a historical average rate of return over 90 years between seven and 10%. That I knew. And that's what I concentrated on. I didn't try to concentrate on knowing everything about every company in the S&P 500 index. No, I didn't want to know that. All I wanted to know was if I put my 150 bucks in here, Will it multiply my money? And based on the history of the S&P 500 index, it would. And that's all I knew, guys. And I would do that every two weeks. Now, as my income went up, why? Because I became more valuable as an employee for the bank I was working for. As I became more valuable, they increased my income. Every time my income would increase, guess what I would increase? my investment into the stock market, my investment into the S&P 500 ETF, my investment into the total stock market 
ETF, my investment into individual stocks of companies that I use. See, that's the key with individual stocks, guys. Put your money in individual stocks of companies that you actually use. Once I started putting that money in and it started multiplying itself through the compounding effect of the stock market, through putting it in that S&P 500 ETF, that total stock market ETF, and some individual stocks, my net worth started to grow. It started to grow. And another question I get a lot is, is when do you sell? Well, guys, you sell when you feel like it's the right time to sell. But for me, let me walk you through my process. See, my process is this. If I'm going to put money in the stock market, I'm putting money in the stock market in today's value because I believe in the future that money that I put in today is going to be worth more tomorrow. So I'm a long term guy. I put my money in the stock market for the future, for my golden years. So when I get to a certain age and I don't want to make YouTube videos or I don't want to buy real estate, I can lean on that money that's accumulated and grown over the last 15 to 20 years. I can use that money in order to create money through passive income, right? I got an asset. That asset is that stock market portfolio, that investment portfolio. That investment portfolio is going to throw off what they call dividends. And those dividends is real money, guys. That's passive income that I can use to live. So for me, I don't sell until I get to a point where I believe I'm ready to take income from my investment. You may say, well, hey, I don't want to wait that long. So let me give you an example. Let's say you put $1,000 into an S&P 500 ETF. You did that today. And let's say six months from now, it's $1,500. So I put it in $1,000. Six months from now, it's $1,500. If you believe you're ready to cash out and take your $500 profit, then sell it. The, the goal here, guys, is to buy low, sell high. Just like with any asset, right? The goal is to buy low, sell high. So if I bought in at 1000 bucks and it's worth 1500 bucks six months from now, I bought it at 1000 It's worth $1,500. There's potentially a $500 profit there before tax. Boom, you can sell if you want. That's, it's that simple. A lot of us make it complicated because we think we need to be the expert. We think we need to know everything. Oh, tell me, uh, I need to know everything about every company in the S&P 500. No, you don't. You don't. All you need to know is it's the top 500 companies in America all big boy companies. And you need to know what the historical rate of return has been on that investment. Because that kind of gives you an indication of potentially what it will return to you in the future, right? So that's the key, man. No different with real estate, right? I'm not an expert in real estate, guys. There are people on YouTube and out here in the world that know way more about real estate than I do. But I know two things about real estate and that have made me a lot of money in real estate. First one is location. Always buy in a location that people have a desire to live. Number one rule of real estate, location, location, location. Second thing that I know and know really well is how profitable is this property gonna be for me if I buy it? And all that boils down to is two things. How much rent can I get? And what are my expenses? That's what it boils down to. So when I buy a property, I buy location first. And then the second thing I check is how much rental income am I going to get on this property? And what can I project my expenses to be? So if I'm going to get $1,000 a month in rent, and I know my expenses are going to be $650 a month, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know I'm going to have about $350 left that I can put in my pocket as income. $1,000 rent, $650 expenses, $350 left. That's my profit, right? That's it. That's all I know about real estate. Everything else, I get me a professional real estate agent to figure out everything else. 
All I want to figure out is, is it a location that I would live in? And if I say yes to that, then it's on the radar. If I say no to that, I move on. And then, like I said, the next thing I got to determine is, can I make any money with the property? Pretty simple equation. What are the rents? What are my expenses? What's my net profit? If that net profit is big enough, then I buy the property and I move forward, guys. So let's not continue to live in the land of excuses. Let's move over here in the land of I can do whatever I put my mind to and let's start building wealth. This is the greatest opportunity to build wealth is right now, guys. Don't miss this opportunity. Do not miss this opportunity. Drop me some comments. Let me know what you think about this opportunity to build wealth right now. Are you getting yourself involved in this wealth building, this wealth transfer that's happening? I hope you are. If you want them 12 free stocks from Weeble, click on that link down in the description box. Remember guys, they're gonna give you 12 free stocks for just signing up. Plus those 12, up to 12 free stocks will be worth up to $30,600. So click on that Weeble link below, open up that new account today, go get that free stock, go get that free money. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, smash the like button, thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness, never stop believing in yourself, and I'm gonna catch you on the next video. Peace. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.